Hey guys, it is Wednesday and I look like this. I look like a bit of a mess because I've been to the gym but I've also been decorating which you're going to see in another vlog. Keegan and I have started our bedroom. I don't want to say renovation, that's a bit, well it is a renovation really. We've just been ripping out the built-in wardrobes. Um, they're now on the driveway. The room is a mess. Yeah, you'll see that in another vlog. But yeah, that's what I've been doing today and I'm starving guys. I need a snack. I'm back on back on it, back on my diet, which I'm really, really enjoying. However, you know some days you wake up and you're just starving. That's my day today. Keegan had one of those days yesterday where he was just ravenous all day. N now, he's fine and I'm absolutely ravenous. So anyway, hello dogs, come on in. Come on. Hello, <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna say hi? No. So I'm thinking Ava's got a groom booked in for the next couple of weeks and I'm thinking of filming a video of having a Joel daddy daughter day, Joel and Ava day, um, where I'll take her for her dog groom, I might drive her to a pet shop and let her pick out a toy, maybe we'll go on a little walk and, well, we'll definitely do a walk, all these different things and do like a Ava pamper day. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, about the diet thing. If you're, I'm, I, I'm talking more about my sort of post Florida holiday sort of diet plan, fitness plan, things like that over on my members page, health is wealth tier. So if you would like some videos about health and wellness and fitness, then consider becoming a health is wealth member because I know that that's a very niche interest. I know that not everyone is interested in my health and fitness journey or indeed in their own health and fitness journey. And that's absolutely fine if you're not. And I don't wanna trigger anyone by talking about calories and working out and things like that on here publicly, but I do talk about that on my Health is Wealth members page. So if that interests you, then consider becoming a member. Anyway, I'm gonna try and find a healthy snack. Guys, I'm just gonna have some bread. I talk about it on, um, on my Health is Wealth tier. I've just filmed a clip for them. Anyway, this is another thing that we have just bought, which is inspired by our time in America. It is a filter coffee machine. Now, obviously, Americans tend to have filter coffee machines. I never know how it works properly. We just have like an espresso machine where we put pods in there, but that can get quite expensive. So Keegan and I were like, well, maybe we should try a filter coffee machine. My parents love their filter coffee machine. How many times can I say a filter coffee machine? <laughs> My parents love the coffee machine in Florida. So they bought one for their house in Hampshire, their home, their house. So they love it. And so I was like, I think we need one because we always drink more than one coffee a day. So it would be really helpful to make a full pot and then it's done. So we do still have some Starbucks pods left over. So we're gonna do sort of a taste test. So earlier today when we walked to Dunkin' Donuts to get our steps in, I asked for a bag of their dark roast. So we're gonna give this a go tomorrow and just see how it compares to an espresso because it would end up being a bit cheaper to, to buy these bags as opposed to buying the pods. I'm just jumping in here to give you a review of the coffee because I realized that I haven't actually got any footage of, of giving you my verdict. Basically, I'm not fully sure if it is exactly cheaper to do the, the drip coffee or filter coffee than the pods. I think it probably is, but each pot that needs filling needs eight scoops of coffee uh, coffee granules so it's like so you end up needing quite a lot but I think it is a little bit cheaper normally if we're at home and if we're at home for the morning the whole morning we'll make one of those if we know that we're heading out like later that morning we might grab a coffee on the go we'll just have the coffee pods so I think we'll continue to do both um, but yeah I really like it Anyway, let's continue with the vlog also just a warning this vlog I feel like it's quite whingy but I basically to preface this I was having a very bad day, a very bad week actually that week, so please excuse the moaning. Hey guys, so I'm back in my car finally, it's Thursday. <laughs> I feel like I normally, I go through spurts of filming loads in my car and then I haven't been obviously because I've been away in the last few days, I've not really been anywhere except for the gym. What am I doing? Right, I'm actually a bit late leaving, I'll explain when I get on the way. So I've got the dogs in the back, you can probably see. Basically, Keegan and I are going to see Pink tonight the pop star Pink in concert uh, with our friends Anthony and Peter. And I think it's gonna be very fun. I mean, we, I think we have a box, which I'm assuming we're sharing the box with other people as well. Um, but we get food and drink there and it's just gonna be a very fun experience. Basically, without going into detail of like, due to like schedule, um, instead of just picking up Anthony and Peter tonight, 
We're actually gonna head to that house this morning. Um, Keegan's just dropped his car off at the garage. So I'm heading to go and pick him up now. I've got all our stuff and the dogs. And then we'll drive on to their house. Keegan's got a whole load of work and calls to do today. Um, and, This is the worst part about where I live, guys. There's like, to get in and out of where I live, there's like a country lane, which you've probably seen on other vlogs when I've walked it. Um, and it's only big enough for one car. And like that woman then just shot down the hill in her big SUV and then expected me to do something about it. And I'm like, I can't do it. So she had to mount the curb and go on the curb. Anyway, so yeah, that, those are the plans. We're gonna stay at their house tonight. Um, hence why we've got the dogs with us. They've also got a little dog. He's so cute and they all get along really, really well. So we're gonna stay at their house after pink tonight and then head back home in 24 hours time tomorrow morning. I don't know how much I'll film. I might not film any of it, guys. Um, if I do, I'll insert some like Instagram story footage from pink. Uh, just because A, I don't think cameras are allowed into, you know, stadiums, even though phones have cameras on now and they allow phones in, but I've had experiences where they won't let cameras in. And also Anthony and Peter are quite private, so I don't want to film at theirs. <laughs> this is probably the only clip you'll see um, from today, I'm sure. But yeah, I have some work to do today. So once we're fully settled, once we're at Anthony and Peter's, hopefully by about 10 a.m., I can sort of just get my laptop out and crack on with a few jobs. But to be honest, I don't have that much to do today. So it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a super busy day. Right, I'm just arriving at Mercedes. I always feel, I've been to this Mercedes garage so many times with Keegan, because he's had so, so many issues with it. And he, I think he's telling them as well, they're fixing something yet again. And he's telling them that he doesn't want the car. He wants to like be able to trade it in and get a new car because there's just been so many issues with it. And it's a new car, it's only three years old. There he is, I can see him. But yeah, I always feel awkward driving in in my, well, last time in my Mini, the, the first few times in my Mini, and now more recently in this BMW, in my BMW, I just feel a bit like, I don't know, I'm probably making it all up in my head, but when I drive right up to the front and park amongst all the Mercedes, I just feel people watching me from inside being like, why is there a BMW here? Ben loves sitting on the front seat, doesn't he, on the passenger. He's secure. He is secure. He's so cute. Right guys, it's 12 o'clock. I'm just driving to Starbucks because the coffee machine, Anthony and Peter aren't in, so they're at work um, most of the day. Although we did just see Peter briefly, he dropped off their dog, Handsome. Um, because he's still gonna nip out and do some work. We were trying to make coffee. The coffee machine's very hard to work. I've never used one like that, so I was, I was YouTubing it. So I was like, well, I'll just have to jump in the car and go to Starbucks, which is not a problem, because I enjoy exploring new areas, and this area is so beautiful around here, guys. Yeah, and also, I'm still in the stage where I love driving my car, which I'm sure will wear off at any moment. I actually crashed my car for the first time the other day. I forgot to tell you guys. I say crashed, it's very dramatic. I was parked in a parking space at Asda and I didn't realize, I was on the end, I didn't realize there was a bollard like by the front wheel. So I like turned the wheel to like swing out. <laughs> And I was like, not my new car. Of course, of course it had to happen. It sounded like most sort of car scrapes. It sounded horrendous. When I looked at it, it is just a scratch about that long and about that deep. It sounded like there'd be a dent, but there's no dent whatsoever. It's just a scratch. So I will at some stage take that to the garage and ask if they can respray it. And hopefully it won't be too expensive. But um, yeah, so, so annoying. I hate things like that because you just think, it's just a stupid mistake and you're like, why did I do that? Like, I knew there was a bollard there. I mean, ultimately, of course I didn't know there was one there, but it's like, well, of course there was gonna be a bollard there. Why didn't I see that? <sighs> but never mind, it's fine. It's just a car, it's just a possession. I'm just about to celebrate that they have a drive-through here and then I've just seen the drive throughs closed and I can't find anywhere to park. <laughs> ah! I'm not having a good day, guys. I'm having a very, very, very bad day today, despite what it might look like on camera. Put on a happy front, I'm actually having a terrible day. <laughs> but I won't go into reasons why. But hopefully today will get better. Everything will be great. Everything will be fine. And also after this coffee, everything's gonna be fine. Because coffee makes everything better. And look, I can park just here on the road. The plus side is, everyone, that it's a beautiful day. It started out a cold day, and the sun is now out. We just went for a little dog walk, Keegan and I, and it was very warm. I was sweating in my jumper, so 
yeah, that is something to be grateful for. And when I get back to Anthony and Peter's house, I'm going to take my laptop into the garden with my coffee and I'm gonna do some work in the sun with the dogs playing and it's gonna be lovely. I mean, this just sums up my day. I was listening to a voice note whilst carrying these coffees, spilt it down myself, it was burning hot and I've burnt my chest now. I mean, my own fault, all of it's my own fault. However, of course, of course that happened. Now it's burning my fingers, I shouldn't be vlogging. Oh, let me put the camera away. Onwards, today is not gonna defeat me. No, no. That's hot. It's just, I think it's summer for everyone. It's summer and Christmas. I feel like so busy. And it's getting to summer now, isn't it? Uh, I mean, maybe it is summer. I still think it's late spring, but maybe it is summer. And um, everything's super busy from just before going to Florida. Um, and then this month, I mean, I mean, the thing is, I feel bad and I'm not complaining because they're all good things. You know when you're just like, before I know it, I think that then that's June, over. And then in July, we've got a few things on, a few things planned, and that's kind of all taken up. Um, I mean, this month is so busy. It's even busier for Keegan, poor guy, um, where he's said like, I'm not putting anything else in my month this month, and I'm not booking anything in for July. He was like, because already July is getting busy and I don't want it to be as busy as June is now. It's just, it's one of those things Hopefully by the time August rolls around things will start calming down, but you know life's not doesn't work like that does it? It definitely I don't think it that will happen I think it's gonna keep getting busier and busier until maybe about September around my birthday And then things might calm down a bit. This is just to reassure you guys I suppose that if you're having a bad day I have bad days too and I know that when you watch content creators online you can be fooled into thinking that oh, Here are these people online having the best time the best life and I'm having a stressful day and I'm stressed out about this or da 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 da. I have those days as well, this being one of them. Oh, don't crash into me. I mean, it's been one of those weeks really, starting with the crashing the car a couple of days ago or scraping the car. <sighs> my to-do list today is very, very long. And because I'm not in my own house, because I'm at Anthony and Peter's house and it's so sunny and their house is gorgeous and their garden is stunning. I'm like, and I'm gonna go sit in the garden now, I'm like, treating it as if it's like holiday mode and it's not I have a really big to-do list so I'm gonna be disciplined today and power through and go you know what it's been a terrible day but what would actually make this day better is it up here I think so what would actually mm, yes what would actually mm, <laughs> what would actually make this day better is is by being really productive and ticking off loads of my to-do list because then I can sit back at the end of the day and go yeah today was not my day however I got so much stuff done so I'm gonna aim to plow all of my energies into work the reason I'm umming and ahhing guys is because I haven't put the sat nav on and I'm testing myself to see if I can get back so far I think I'm on track I do actually have a very very good memory I'm nicknamed the map amongst my friends because I just, I can go somewhere once, whether it's walking, driving, and usually 90% of the time, I can find my way back, no problem. And uh, I think this is one of them. I'm very pleased I have that, because some people lack the sense of direction a lot. Um, my mum being one of them, bless her. She won't mind me saying that. She's got no sense of direction. Uh, luckily, I did not inherit that. I inherited, I think, my dad's ability to be able to navigate. I wonder if that's something that you're born with or if it's something you, that you've learned or it's probably, like most things, a mix of both. But anyway, let's try and turn this day upside down. Let's dry out. <laughs> was amazing like such a great performer and I wasn't even like a really big fan of pink like 
Pink was my childhood. I liked some of her songs, but I'm not like, I wouldn't say I'm a Pink fan. However, watching her live, she was absolutely incredible. I had such a great time. Basically, yeah, we had some food before and drinks and it was all free because it was included in the ticket price. And then we went and sat and, and watched the show and it was just so, so good. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry that it was a little bit negative. As I said, I just like to talk about the positives and negatives. And yeah, there's some exciting things coming up. I've got a trip to Windsor, which I've already been on, but you're going to see the vlog of that. I've got the Marbella vlogs from when I went to Spain. So there's some good things coming up. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe if you're new here. Become a member if you'd like bonus members only videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.